Hello, I'm Tommy Moore from the Bar Tits and Lab, and in this video, I wanted to boil down my philosophy on striking. And there are two camps that I put a lot of striking into. And there are multiple sub facets, but these are the two priority ones for me. And that is brain shakers and balance takers. And I'll boil down most of the striking toolbox that I work with into one or two of those things. Ideally, they do both at the same time. Now, a balance taker, why would I want a balance taker? Well, if I can put you down, I can escape. If I can put you down, I can make it to an improvised weapon. If I can put you down, that might allow me to catch up with the whole fucking universe because I might have just been assaulted out of the blue. I might need to find my ass from my elbow. Being able to put someone down is a useful tool to have. And being able to shake a brain, it's important to not just think of punches, palm strikes, chops, hammer fists. Those are the means, but not the end. The end, in many cases, a preference for most of us will be something that sufficiently shakes the brain to knock the cunt out. So, brain shakers and balance takers. This is why a ball struck down. You don't hammer fist because hammer fist is good. I'm going to hammer fist you because it might shake your brain. If I'm going to hit you with my forearm, it's because I want to shake your brain. If I'm going to chin jab you, it's because I want to knock you down. I want to take your balance. So, again, boiling these things down into is it a brain shaker or is it a balance taker? It's not one of those two things, it's likely a lower subset of striking, an incidental strike or something to put in mid grapple to cause a bit of pain. But brain shakers and balance takers are a really good way to condense your toolbox. So, my favoured, one of my favoured brain shakers. So, one of my favourite brain shakers is the short hook. Now, I say this in a lot of videos, but I'm just going to reiterate it here because not many of you watch all of them. If I can hit the side of your jaw, that's five inches of leverage. It's five inches of a lever for me to shake your brain. Yeah? Why would I trade five inches for one inch, the tip of the jaw? This can move faster, it's more unpredictable, it's a smaller target under duress, bigger target is over here. Above this small target is lots of sharp, nasty little fucking teeth that I do not want to be driving my fist into or indeed my palm. Don't think because you're a palm striker you are immune to fucked up teeth being in your fucked up hand. Either way, there's a dangerous set of barbed wire on top of this fence. Whereas here, I've got a big old target that's got a big old turning lever to shake the brain. Even if I fuck it up and miss, I'll punch the cunt in the side of the throat, which will really hurt and drop his blood pressure, or I hit him in the cheek, which will again will still turn his head still mash his teeth to fuck, it will have efficacy up here. And obviously the prime efficacy is on the jawline itself. So again, if I'm thinking brain shaker, I would rather go with a short circular strike to shake your brain from left to right, than wager I've got the strength, power and penetration to shake your brain from the front. You've got pretty good neck and back muscles that will instinctively put the brakes on. If I hit you with any degree, of shot up here, things to the side, move your head. If you try and be strong, tense your neck, it's still easy even for a small child to turn your head. If I say be strong and then try and push the neck in, it's not gonna happen. You've got a strong neck and back. So things that come around the side are a really great brain shaker. Okay, so for me, short hooks. Uses a hard instinctive tool, a fist, because humans, when they're angry, this is what comes out, nine times out of 10. When humans are genuinely angry, genuinely fighting, you see many combatives instructors, you see many jujitsuki, you see many martial artists that would have otherwise said no punches to the face. As soon as they are genuinely angry, generally emotionally invested in the violence, these come out. They just do. It's the inner monkey in us. Ah! All right. Bang! Being able to fire this shot up here, brilliant brain shaking shot. from outside the field of vision, so it comes from the outside in, shakes the brain, lovely, number one. Number two is one of my favourite balance takers, and that is a chin jab, a World War II era chin jab. And for this, I've got Bob relatively low today just because of the camera angle, but it can be an human against any size. I will typically take a penetrative step to get my body as close to his as possible. And again, my body being as close to him as possible smothers his ability to draw a weapon from his waistband. Because now where he had 
access before. He doesn't because my big fucking lardy ass is here. So I've taken ground. Boom. As I'm taking ground, I'll take a big lump of fucking kidney. Bam. And drive the hard base of my palm. Boom. Underneath the jaw. So I pull him tight. Very, very tight. And I'll drive this up and over. The fingers eventually coming into the eyes. But my aim is to roll him backwards and accelerate his head to the tarmac. And obviously this can be a very, very high level of force technique. You don't want to be just you don't want to be giving out chin jabs willy-nilly because they can be very, very dangerous to the opponent's neck. You accelerate the back of the skull to the tarmac very, very fast. But if that's what you need to do, if the level of force allows, it's a great balance taker. So brain shaker. Boom! Balance taker. It will be concussive, percussive, but it'll also tend to lead to a knockdown. But important is to have a solid grip of the opponent's torso here as you do it. Okay? Another of my favoured balance takers is what I call the Baptist. Right? Now, if you think about hitting to the face, if you're going with an open hand, what I find one of the most beneficial targets is actually the upper portions of the forehead because the upper portions of the forehead make a very good lever to knock the man's head beyond his ass. If I can knock your head beyond your ass, I knock all of you on your ass. So for me, for the Baptist strike, it's all about getting close and smashing upwards at the top of that lever. Like so, it's actually very hard to resist. So again, you find yourself in this fucked up tangle, taking shots, covering, whom, and fire this Baptist shot all the way over. You get extra points if you shout, devil be gone. Devil be gone! But firing this up and over, it's that rolling sensation which puts the head beyond the ass. And again, this could be you using it as a crashing technique, so you're taking ground before, say, a bludgeon hits you. Whom! but you are driving the head beyond the ass. You are smashing it over here, and you are essentially baptizing this man into the river of cunts. Bam! Straight over the top, the Baptist. I tend to prefer this as a straight shot than ones that come to the jaw. Anything near the jaw is near the neck, near the back, near strong muscles. The further I away I am from the strong muscles, the better lever I've got to really knock you down. Okay, number four, what I call the Fu Jiao slap, Fu Jiao being Chinese terminology for tiger claw strike. So if I'm gonna slap you, if I'm gonna hit you around the ear, or in this instance, around the jaw, I'm gonna use a 10 pence size piece of my palm, the knuckle of my palm. I'm gonna use my hip and my shoulder and my feet as if I'm throwing a hook. Boosh, boosh. And one of the extra benefits I add to this, what make it the Fu Jiao slap for me, is that when you do so, as opposed to flaring your hands this way, claw them somewhat. So whether it hits, the thumb naturally gets the eye without any aiming. If you, this connects to jaw, the thumb will get the eye. So you turn that entirety whoom, into the slap. The slap and the gouge happen at the same time. So that's extra bonus points. And if your hands are big enough, You'll also grab a big fucking lump of face, which you can use to rag, pull, rake. So as opposed to a normal slap or a cupped hand hitrauchi slap, boom, what I call the fujia slap, uses the hand slightly more clawed, whoom, and the thumb naturally finds its way onto that eye. But it's also just a really good way of developing force to shake the brain. I put this under my brain shaker category. So one like a hook, this one really kind of roll the shoulder over as well. So it comes in, but also down, and moving his head in the direction I want him. I want to accelerate his head that way. Boom. Boom. I want my body and my impetus to be driving towards where I want him to go. I want to dunk him that way. It's the full jaw slap. It's a clawed slap. The thumb lap landing naturally on the eye, gripping of the face, and we're driving. So we're coming over, almost like a windscreen wiper. You can throw it like a hook if you want. 
I prefer it a bit closer range, like a windscreen wiper motion. <coughs> Nasty little shot. Then finally, in the brain shakers category, it's the face smash, a uh, favoured shot of Kelly McCann and others. And essentially, the difference between a thrusting palm strike here, the face smash goes over like you're throwing a ball. And you're smashing your palm down the centre of the face, and your job is to make him say yes violently. Make him say yes very quickly. If you imagine when you get whiplash, when a car hits your car from behind, you go, whoa, and you feel sick, and you feel nauseated, and it's got a good chance of knocking you out. We're accelerating the head straight down with this shot. So again, this is more of a middle distance or a distance taking shot, but essentially you're throwing a ball. You're throwing an overarm ball, you're smashing him down the center of the face, and then you're raking these fingers down the eyes. But remember, the fingers are ancillary. They're bonus points. The main bit is to get your shoulder, your hips, everything into this. <laughs> Face smash. So to go back, five, four, three, two, one. Brain shaker, face smash. Brain shaker, full jail slap. Balance taker, the Baptist. Balance taker, the chin jab. Brain shaker, the short range hook. Give those a go. It's an important way to boil down your, your toolbox. It's a great way to look at what you want the strike to do. Think beyond the strike. What do you want to do? Knock him out or knock him down. That's a great way to boil down all of the variables, all of the bullshit into building a striking arsenal around the causes and the effects that you want to deliver. So get on there and practice your brain shakers and your balance takers.